All right, everybody. Welcome to the stream. And before we get anything underway here, let me just make sure we have the, the basics down here. And... Oh, wow. We had one heck of a season. Um, so, if you guys did not see the... Uh, previous game I recommend go checking it out right now what's up bronze gamer bro uh, before you do anything else before we do the rest of this I want you guys to go check out the, the game the bowl game against Toledo it was a heck of a game I recommend go checking it out and yeah it's just one of those games you just have to watch because it was just so incredible and worth the watch so welcome 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 everybody um, hopefully we can get going here soon as, here as a, uh, like I said, don't want to spoil nothing. Just go check it out. It takes like 20 minutes. I'll still be here after 20 minutes. I, I think, <laughs> but anyway, let's get on with it. Shall we? Uh, I know there's probably not gonna be a whole lot of people again because I'm streaming on a Monday night, but it is uploaded directly to YouTube. What's up, Joe? <laughs> uh, it's uploaded directly to YouTube. So if you guys missed it at all. Uh, there's gonna be a playlist. There's gonna be a, all that kind of good stuff that you guys can see right then and there and You guys can uh, enjoy so let's get straight into it advanced week and we're gonna go straight to the off season. <clears throat> you make me moist <laughs> Oh my god Dylan stop Will it wolf at the docks round tree? What's up, man? We're at level 11. Uh, we don't have many many recruits coming to look at we got a lot of them in, during the season and uh, we made a lot of records this year like look at all these records they're crazy uh, we got a lot of kickoff returns for touchdowns that's one thing that was really surprising usually I'm not that kind of person to just go up there and just get a bunch of kickoff returns uh, but we finished 11 and 2 this year last two seasons we did finish 11 and th or 10 and 3 so it's a one win improvement but the job um, the target win is seven years every year, uh, but <laughs> scored a touchdown. Such records, much wow. <laughs> Falcons gonna miss the playoffs, and the Panthers, Bucks will make it. Nah, just the Bucks. I feel like the Bucks will make the playoffs next year. I feel like you haven't talked. You haven't. You haven't talked to me in forever, Dylan. It's crazy. But it's only been like what a week. Life. Ch life's crazy though. Joe doors before Hodors. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all are nuts. Uh, so. 11 to 2 are obviously our goal is to try and make it to a better conference like uh, the Big 12 because that's my bit that's one of my uh, things I'm going for is as soon as our team gets established and as soon as we uh, get you know to be a dominant powerhouse I'm looking to try and get to uh, be a Big 12 team uh, because I feel like if I go to the SEC it's just gonna ruin the fun because I already have a dynasty where I'm in the SEC so it kind of just ruins the fun uh, so we're going to go to the next stage anyway. I'm not going anywhere with this team. Um, so that's that's one thing. Panthers going to make it? Well, that's if they improve their secondary because their secondary is awful. They have a lot to improve on. They can't rely on Cam Newton either. They have Calvin Benjamin, but they don't have any other receivers uh, that can you know fill that void. They need – and Greg Olson. I mean, you, you need depth in that wide receiver position. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just got back from the gym, so it's like, gotta drink my protein shake. This is the tough part. Players leaving. Kyle Maxwell's gone. I know he is. Um, so we're missing Kyle Maxwell. We're gonna miss Joseph Hand, uh, Josh Weber, uh, jo Joel McConnell. A lot of the offensive linemen, even our middle linebacker, defensive tackles, uh, we're not going to miss him much because he was a backup quarterback. Um, Brian Dean, oh wow, third string running back's gone. Lier is gone. Any transfers? No, just a lot of graduations. Uh, sadly, I can't get these guys back. That sucks. But you know what? It's all good. You know what? That's th that's the part of the dynasty that gets me going. So, advance to the next stage. Let's do it. Gains, bruh. 
Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. I just had my friend Joe follow me on Twitter. I shall follow him back because he's the man. So, anyway. Uh, I cannot import to Madden 25 because this is on the 360. And I don't have Madden 25. So, let's go to uh, the next one. I can't wait for signing day, bro. I cannot wait for signing day. Uh, draft results. We didn't have any draft picks. Guaranteed. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Transfer request. Let's see if we have any. 71 overall fr freshman from Baylor. Coverage linebacker. Uh, let's admit him in. I got about an hour long drive home. Just wanted to pop in and say, hi, say hi, have fun. I will have fun. Big 12 sounds like, yeah, Big 12 does sound better. <clears throat> it does. It has a better ring to it. Uh, especially since Texas is like right there and we could have a big rivalry with Texas going on and Oklahoma. It's all in that, those plains, those Southern plains areas. So I feel like that, that seems to fit better. I think. Um, so now we got the best part, the best part recruiting. I love recruiting because then we get to see the future of the team and well, we got a lead on him it's having him. Oh, let's see what we can, what his, he's got some, he's got speed. He's got throwing uh, power and accuracy. Not accuracy is going to be an improvement. Um, doesn't have very good defensive skills. Um, he could be a running back as well. Does have a good stiff arm. Does have good trucking ability. <clears throat> um, so we'll see. I'm going to drop like 1,500 here. Uh, maybe maybe 17. Well, let's go 17. You know what? Just got home from basketball practice. Oh, very nice, man. Um, hopefully you had a good practice. Hopefully coach didn't kill you too hard. Um, overall, Cody Boone, quarterback. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. We're way behind on him. He's got good speed. 84 speed as a quarterback. Oh, man. This guy doesn't play quarterback, which is good. I think he may be... He's definitely he's probably a defensive back. That's not too bad either. You got yeah, I know I got some competition, so competition's always good though. It's good. It's good. I'm in oh I'm so behind I'm so far behind on this guy. I'd have to put like 34 on him. Just something like that. If I wanted to get a guy like him, I'd probably have to put 34 or 3500 on him. Um Let's, let's, God dang it. I'm not putting five points on a guy. Biggest lead. All right. Tackle. Overall, 61. Could be better. Uh, but I don't think we're going to lose him. Uh, 60 overall kicker. Don't we already have a kicker, though? I feel like we already have one. Yeah, we do. Um, so we don't necessarily live one. Uh, yeah, I live in Iowa. Uh, so I'm a Hawkeyes fan. <laughs> Iowa's the state, man. I love it. All right, so anybody else that piques my interest that I could possibly snag up from the trailing part? Um. Well, first off, I need to find out how many scholarships are left. Uh, I'm going to stay in the Sun Belt for right now because I feel like this team just isn't good enough to move to any other conference. Um, not yet, anyway. All right. Uh, largest deficit, biggest lead. Uh, you didn't you didn't miss really much of anything so far. This You just got to the good part. So you just missed... The first two steps of recruiting, or uh, players leaving and um, the coaching carousel. We didn't have um, we didn't have any players go to the draft, which is sad to say. But 
You know what? It's true. We didn't have any players go to the draft. Uh, 60, 55. And then these guys are just terrible. We could snag up that QB. We could snag him up. I'm going to try. What's good, Ty? What's good, man? We're going to try and snag up this QB. We're going to try and get at least... 3,000 points on him. Because I don't want to waste too many player points on, you know... These guys here. Okay. Um, yeah, we're way too far behind on these guys here. There's only a few players left that I think I really need to get. Yeah, I got a transfer player from Baylor, a freshman, so that's always good. 71 overall. He may, um, he may go far. Who do you think is going to the 2018 national championship game? Hard to say. I. Alabama's certainly a contender. Um, boy, anybody else, I like, really couldn't tell you. It's really a toss-up between any other team. Oklahoma's pretty good as well. They're always seen, they always seem to be in the mix. Um, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Other than Alabama, I couldn't tell you. College football is always a toss-up, man. Anybody can win it. FSU's good. Yeah, Florida State's always really good. Um, USC is really good as well. Uh, Michigan, yeah, they always seem to find a way to choke. I mean, they had that game. They should have won against Iowa. I'm going to be real honest with you. They should have shellacked Iowa, but they didn't. And that's what that's what bothers me about the, the whole versus Iowa thing, because they should have shellacked Iowa. They should have. USC is supposed to be really good next year. Um, that's the, that's coming from a guy who doesn't really like USC either. Um, but then again, USC seems to find ways to choke too. So you never really know, man. I'm going to go straight to signing day. Pure depression. Y'all should have beat Iowa. And I'm, I'm a Hawkeyes fan, man. I love my Hawkeyes, but y'all should have beat us. We had no business trying to compete with y'all, but we did. And it, it's funny how it works like that because... Like, we'll do good against teams like Michigan, and then we suck against Florida. And granted, cr give all the credit to Florida. They're a good team. But it's like, how could you, you know, do so well against Michigan, but not Florida? Michigan would rub the f or scrub the floor with Florida right now. They would wipe their tears. Uh, we got that running back. Uh, we got that defensive uh, that right end, and we got the – we got a couple – we got – Wow. So we got a couple running backs. I didn't get that guy from to go to TCU. That's kind of that's kind of garbage. But we got a running back at least. Um, yeah, we didn't really get many players. Um, what can I really do though? Uh, being a Lions fan on 101, <laughs> being disappointed. Yeah, Maryland does have sick unis. Uh, so signing day. I only have five scholarships left. That's a lot. That's not that many. Um, so our best players that we signed were, oh, wow. He didn't even come to, he get, wow. He's a 76 overall quarterback. He could just walk on here if he wanted to, really. 76 overall quarterback. He didn't even commit. He's just like, oh, yeah, I have an interest to come here. That's crazy. I wonder what happens to those guys. Did they just fall off the face of the earth or what? Like, we have a lead on that guy. But I can't. we can't do anything about him because he's... I don't know. Does he just float off the face of the earth or did he actually come here? I haven't really gotten to that deep into the recruiting process. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some crazy things happen, man. I didn't even get a five-star recruit in my UAB dynasty until like four years in. <clears throat> Position changes. Recruiting is, yeah, recruiting is really easy. You just have to play the system. 
All right, position changes. So we got athletes that came here. Um, that's that's gonna be a key thing here. He's a 72 overall quarterback, a 71 overall running back, 72 wide receiver, uh, 55 tight end. Everything else on defense, he's just bad. So let's take a look at our quarterback position and see how our depth is there. He wouldn't start, but he'd be second string to um, Thomas Wilson. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how the YouTube update for iOS. Oh, geez. Yeah, check his. He has good ratings. It's not the ratings that I'm worried about. He has an 88 speed. Acceleration and awareness could be a little bit higher, but breaky tackle. He seems more like a running back or a receiver. His hands are actually decent. Um, Jumping is pretty good. Throw power and accuracy. His accuracy is a little eh. This is crazy. You watch all my videos. Very nice. I don't think Arkansas belongs in the Sun Belt in your dynasty. Just a, a friendly heads up. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's true, but we had a lot of close games in the Sun Belt. If we move to the uh, Big 12 this year, I think it would be too much of a big change already. Although, it would be nice. Better as a quarterback. Uh, I think he might be better as a wide receiver. We'll see, though. We'll see our wide receiver to position. Oh, geez. He'd be second string. Or third string, even. He'd be a third string wide receiver. We have Lorenzo Harrison coming back next year. But we have a lot of freshmen on this. Look at the, all these freshmen. Like, good lord. Bunch of young guys at a receiving position. This is crazy. Um, Matt Strong, athlete, 272. Pretty sure he may be on the offensive line. He's a 78 overall, or 68 overall center. Um, we'll have to check the depth, the depth chart. Cause that's a, that's one big thing that I have to look at is depth chart. Uh, f oh yeah, we got, yeah, he may have to go on defense. Hmm. Um. I wouldn't want to move to the American though. It's too much. Like I want to, if I'm gonna move to a conference, I want it to be a permanent thing. I don't want it to be just like I'm gonna bounce conferences every year. It's that's that gets annoying. You know what I mean? Um, so we're gonna put we're gonna put Matt Strong at wide receiver, and we're gonna put Matt Williams at I think defensive tackle. Um, but I can't say for sure if that's his best position. Left tackle. Let's see left tackle. All the left offensive line positions. Oh, yeah, he's going left guard actually because that's that's garbage. That's I'm sorry, that's left guard. He's got to be at left guard. Um, first, hey, first live stream for you. Oh, very nice. Uh, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I don't move conferences until you feel like you compete with the Power Five. Yeah, I don't think. I may have went 11 and 2 in my first year, but let's face it. Arkansas State was already good in the Sun Belt coming in, and I didn't even beat Toledo in the uh, bowl game. So what makes you think that I'm going to compete in the Big 12? Just throwing that out there. Not to not to rain on anybody's parade or anything, but that's just how I feel. Uh, fullback position is already taken care of. See, we already got Matt Strong as a solid. Look at that. Th this this wide receiving core is just deep. Let's let's take a look at our running backs. That's another big feature that we have to look at. Uh, Clark Douglas. He may be a big piece next year too. Uh, Clay Tom Jackson also a big piece. It, it, there's just a lot of players that we're just gonna get. Let's take a look at our defense. Uh, Colton Cook. A lot of upperclassmen, too. Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Yeah. I'm going to stay in the Sun Belt this year. And then we'll see how it plays out. 
I am playing in Sunbot. That's why I'm saying, like, I, I got I, I got to watch out for <laughs> my... The, the reason I moved didn't move till to the SEC until, like, year five of the Dynasty is because I was getting... I wanted to establish myself. If you want to become a power team, you got to try and move the ladder just a little. Not try and make a huge jump. So... The, understand that concept there. I don't want to move conferences just because. So let's advance to the next stage. Training results. Ooh, my second favorite part. Can you go independence? Uh, that would not be... It wouldn't be fun. Because then there's no conference championship thing. It's just pretty much trying to play for a bowl game. I did update the conferences. So I do have USC, UNC Charlotte in uh, Conference USA. Um, I also moved all the Big Ten teams for like Nebraska and Maryland to the Big Ten, Rutgers, all those teams. Uh, so let's take a look at who we, who's improved here. Ooh, we got a 91 overall safety. That is our best player. Kenny Smith improved to an 82 overall. Uh, Thomas Wilson's got an 80 speed. So we got a sec, a good backup quarterback who can run. Um, Langford junior quarterback. And we got a freshman red shirt. Kenny Smith didn't improve that much, though. Um, yeah, yeah, I did move uh, Navy to the American Conference. That's another team I moved. James Morgan, uh, 87 overall. Wow, he made a huge jump. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, he's going to be big this year. What up, uh, Carline? I think that's. How, I hope I didn't butcher your name. I've been in the Big Ten. I play the Big Ten. What team... Uh, what happens of you did you move? Oh. Uh, you know, I got, like, Maryland in there and Rutgers and all the teams, like, in the correct conferences. I'll show you guys in a minute. I noticed your UAB Dynasty that Navy was in the Mountain West. Yeah, I did move, like, all the – um, I moved all the military teams out to where the Air Force is at just, for, just to make it a little bit more fun. Like, UA, UAB Dynasty is more of, like – that dynasty try and make it more competitive between all the teams okay so i did say your name right good because i didn't I'm, I'm afraid like i hate butchering names so um the uab dynasty is more of that dynasty to try and balance things out and try and make things a little bit more interesting this one i'm trying to i wouldn't say make realistic but i'm trying to see what i how i can improve in this one as well 85 overall receiver uh, 74, 69, 67. Um, Blake Douglas, Chad Ford. Wow, we got a lot of good players on this offense now. Um, wow, just a lot of, a lot of players here that could use a little bit of more of improvement on the offensive line. We got Kellen Brown at left tackle or right tackle that could probably play at left. Uh, Roger Kane. Man, our, our defense is looking a little weak. Oh, nice. Very nice, RJ. Uh, RJ from Twitter, that's you. Very nice. Do you still have UAB in, in your Arkansas State Dynasty even though... I still have UAB going on. I'm going to keep playing UAB, of course. I, that's easily one of the most fun things I've ever done. This one's getting really close to it, too, because I like the... Uh, I like the features. Uh, to, as far as a live game, I would rather not do that because everybody seems in a live in a in a live game with this. I don't want to have people like miss out and like because people binge binge watch this all the time. You get me. Um, so if I play this uh, one game and someone doesn't see that, they're gonna be like, "Well, where's the first game?" So I don't want to do that to my to my people like that. So, as much as I want to play a live game, I'd rather have people who want to, who are binge watching the series, because that's how people get noticed. Is that binge watching does do amazing things. Um, so, we'll. See. I don't want to do that. I want people to binge watch in case they do miss it, and they won't have to worry about it. Uh, so that's our that's our team improvement right there. It's actually really solid. Uh, we got a lot of 80s, a lot of high 70s, 191 overall. So not not spectacular, but I do think this team made a slight improvement, but then again, so has everybody else. Uh, so we got to cut some players as well. Your Hawkeyes beat my Haw Wolverines. Yeah, they did. 
Man, that was quite something, man. I didn't think that Iowa would had any business competing with Michigan. Oh, we only have to cut three? All right. That's that's fine. Um, I don't think we're going to be using Jerome Langford anytime soon. He can go. Is he from Arkansas? Oh, he's from Mississippi. Um, yeah, we can. He has no business here. Um, I just don't want. I don't want dead weight on this team. He can leave. He's a forty overall. What is he doing on my team? Good lord. <clears throat> It's just, no, because it, it doesn't save it like that. It's we, YouTube doesn't allow me to do that. Because then it wouldn't save as a separate video. It would save within the same video. I don't really like doing that kind of stuff. It's just more work that I have to do. I already have a busy schedule as it is. You know what I mean? Is the NFL rigged? I have questions of why I think so. Um... I don't want to create too much work for myself, though. That's pretty much what I'm saying. You gotta, you gotta work harder, not smarter. Or, smarter, not harder. Other way around, Sin. Jesus. Um. Wow. I don't want to let him go because he could possibly... I want to try and prevent injuries. Uh. Hmm. What are these 40 overall players doing on my team? They have no business here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is awful, man. Awful. See, the transfer's got... He's the best linebacker we got. Oh. Oh, this is so cringy. I played for Maryland for one year before I... Uh, before I was injured and my football days was done. Dang. Uh, injuries suck, man. I could, I tell you, they're they're no fun. I've played, I've went through a lot of injuries myself when I was growing up playing sports. That's it's awful. Oh man, how do who do I cut here? Is, do I have any uh, lowest common denominator? Fifty-five overall freshman linebacker. Yeah, he, I gotta cut him. He's just not worth it. Um, I can't cut these forties though. It's so bad. Like ah, these are so ugly. Like they have zero stars on them. They are garbage players. These guys would play at a Division three school. They are garbage. Oh, it's hard to try and say like, oh, hey, you know, like look at the speed of these defensive tackles, 42 and 47 fullback has a 68 speed. Uh, keep the pipeline. Oh, yeah, they're their pipeline states, man. I don't know how they ended up here, but they're pipelines. First stream for Owen. Yes. Very nice. Uh, halfbacks. Hmm. I don't want to cut a freshman like that. I can't. I can't bring myself to cutting a freshman. Um. I could redshirt him. Yeah, Texas is a very good pipeline to have. Um. <laughs> he could be good, although he's really not much of a player right now. Let's guard position mmm this is tough well he's gonna be gone this year anyway he's from Arkansas let's just cut him yeah no nah, I had I had to cut the center he was a senior 
And he's not much better than the freshman I have up there in the, in the third string. So if I want to get experience for the freshman, just in case, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I'll show you guys the custom conferences here in a minute, too. Um, simply because it's, it's just the better thing to do. Uh, so anybody here, any, anybody here just was interested in the Super Bowl at all, who paid attention to the Super Bowl, uh, everybody who follows me on Twitter would know that I'm not the biggest Patriots fan. <clears throat> Your first sim with Vengeance Stream? Oh, very nice. Very cool. I'm doing a North Texas Dynasty, and Texas has, has a big time pipeline. Yes, they do. And that's why I'm trying to keep it. So anybody would know that I'm not the biggest Patriots fan, but I got to respect Tom Brady in the, the regard that he is GOAT. Uh, mean green fighting machine. All right, so custom conferences. I'll show you guys all the conferences that we have here. So you see right here, we have Georgia Southern, uh, Georgia State, Troy, Texas State, South Alabama, New Mexico State, UL Lafayette, UL Monroe, and then we'll go up to the ACC. You see that we have them all, you know, put up in here, ready to go. Uh, see all these teams in the Conference USA. No, that's American. Never mind. Uh, Big 12. Where's Idaho? I think they're independent. Or they're independent, but I think I removed them <clears throat> because I think they uh, they moved. I think they just they think they just formed. I think they. Uh, I don't, they, I don't think they got rid of their football program, but I think they're changing um, from FBF to FCS. Uh, did I wrestle growing up? No, I did not. Um, I was a football player and a basketball player and a baseball player. Um, he's got all the teams right here in the Big Ten. Iowa finished number two in the country, believe it or not. Idaho is leaving the FBS in 2018. Yes, they are, and I, that's why I, that's why I wanted to update it to where it matches like that. Um, so that's why they're not there. Uh, you got UNC Charlotte in here in the Conference USA. That's also another big thing there. Um, Independence. You got Notre Dame, BYU, and Army. The MAC Conference. Toledo's in there. They beat our butts, man. They beat our butts. Did you play travel basketball? Uh, not no, I played more for the school. Uh, didn't play for any travel team like that. Um, wasn't very good like that. Growing up, we didn't have a, our, the only travel team that we really had for any sport was for baseball. Uh, but we didn't travel anywhere big uh, because I came. I grew up in a very small town. Uh, you got you, the uh, big Pac-12 updated, the FCC updated. Uh, I'm just thinking, like, <clears throat> would I have fun doing it an NCAA baseball dynasty? If I had a PlayStation 2 and NCAA baseball 07, I may consider it, but I do not have any of those items. Uh, sadly, I don't have one. But I have put NCAA baseball before. It's it's a pretty fun game. I will admit. Um, just the fact that I don't have one is the problem. <laughs> uh, BCS Bowl tie-ins. Um, automatic qualifiers here. They're going to stay the same. Put UA I can't put UAB in anywhere. Uh, I want to. Um, but I cannot because you cannot have more than the selected amount of teams that I already have in there. So, um, put that Pac-12 and Sugar Bowl. We could do that. Oh, boo. I can't do it. I do pl I like playing basketball, but I do not like watching it. I don't like watching basketball these days. Uh, more specifically, the NBA. Um, I have played t Call of Troops 2K8. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm more so the NCAA Basketball 10 guy. 
Nice. Everybody's just everybody's just living the the chat's live right now. It's pretty nice. We're just gonna go to the next stage. We're gonna go to the preseason. It is, but I like the updated the the presentation of NCAA basketball ten is just it's it's awesome. Granted, the gameplay from ten to I've played both ten eight two uh, K eight and NCAA basketball ten. The gameplay difference isn't isn't that much. Uh, the gameplay is good on two K eight, but the presentation, the gameplay is still good in NCAA basketball ten. Um, but what's just opinions? I love Drew Dynasty for NCAA basketball. It was good, um, but again, yeah, the pre yeah the, the presentation in NCAA basketball is pretty freaking dope. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> um, so we got a red shirt some players. That is one thing we gotta take care of here before we do anything else. Uh, freshman, red shirt, red shirt. Red shirt, red shirt, red shirt, red shirt, red shirt, red shirt. Uh huh. Right guard. Is he starting? No. Hmm. I want to red shirt all these guys. Red shirt all these freshmen here. Because let's let's face it, we need we need growth. We don't have many deep players on this team. Anybody at below a sixty-eight or below a seventy needs to be redshirted. This guy may start. Is he starting? He may be a starter. No, he's not. Redshirt. It's a lot of red shirts. Yeah, they are. What does redshirting do? It gives them an extra year of eligibility. So I can keep them for five years instead of four. They just can't play the, first, the, the year they're redshirted. So they get a year to improve on their skills. And I get to keep them for an extra year. Yep, it keep it makes them better and it keeps them off the field. Um, so let's set up our recruiting board. Um, we're gonna just gonna create. Or we're gonna go skip to recruiting because I can't. I don't have the time anymore to make recruits left and right. It's as cool as it sounds and everything. I just I can't sit there and go. Oh, okay. Let's just make a million recruits. Can you blue shirt? I don't think I can blue shirt. Blue shirt. Uh, search. I'm just gonna go any. See what I can get. All right, let's go. Interest level. We got a four-star athlete. Ooh. Three-star running back. Three-star defensive end. Let's go after the three slash four stars. Any five stars? That'd be interesting. Another four-star running back. Um. Oh no! Wait, he's a two-star. I don't want two stars. Three-star wide receiver, three-star athlete, three-star quarterback. We got a lot of quarterbacks on this board. Good lord. Got a lot of running backs on this board too. Ooh, a strong safety. Not even bad. Uh. Ooh, an another four-star running back. Got a lot of offensive players on here. I don't think I could get all these players right here. Let's go for. Oh god, he's not gonna want to come here. You got a f yeah, I got a few four stars. That's pretty nice. Um, wow, we're not gonna get many five star athletes here. Wow, this guy's got interest in Appalachia State. He that must be nice. Five star wide receiver, huh? Uh, we're gonna go to do that in the recruiting once we get up a bunch of players All right, so we're gonna see We probably didn't get a single five-star recruit I'll be fair Fair and firm here. We didn't get a five-star. That's fine though. I don't 
It doesn't really bother me that much. Make a move at Baker. The five-star wide receiver. He's from Maryland, too. He's a... Yeah, if some three stars and four stars could be better than a five star recruit. And some of these five stars could be just busts. He's got a four three eight. Bench press is three oh five. Squats two ten. That's I could squat more than two ten. Good lord. I was doing leg day at the gym today. I was squatting more than two ten. I was squatting like three hundred. <sighs> But then again, my legs are going to be killing me tomorrow, so. <laughs> Dude, 210 squat, I could do that, no problem. That's that's kind of pathetic if you ask me. The 305 bench press is actually pretty good, though. I'll give him that. The, the bench press, 305, not bad. Not bad at all. He can't even squat his own weight. Look at that. He's 211 pounds and only squats 210. That's a problem. <laughs> Just saying, man. That's a huge problem. He could be a bust. This guy here, same problem. Squats only 195. Yeah, I, JJ Watt squats 700, but that's because JJ Watt is an animal. He's not even human. Let's be real here. JJ Watt's not even human. Okay, so I'm not even going to take a risk on a guy who can't even bench press their own weight. Or not bench press, but squat their own weight. Uh, I don't have any big bod. Let's get that out of the way. I'm s I am lift heavy, but <laughs> I got legs. That's about all I got. I could go for the Sean Sickleton guy. He's from Virginia. I don't know. Let's try and go for Arkansas players here. Let's see if there's any Arkansas players that are five-star recruits. No, but four-star um, wide receiver. Let's see here. Outside linebacker. Um, <laughs> we don't have any athletes here in Arkansas. That would be... Let's just go for him. And him. Let's go for those top two. Um, so now, we get to do some scouting. Let's go by overall. And see how they're act if they're actually worth it. Um, ooh, ooh, this guy here is pretty good. I'll give him that. Oh, <laughs> oh God, his speed—he's not a bad player. He's just not as good as what you thought he would be. Ah, uh, oh goodness. Oh, okay. Um, throw power is pretty bad, so he's not really a quarterback, but he does have the. He could play some defensive back. He looks like a defensive back to me. Uh, or a running back. Uh, throw power. 79 throw power. That's just not going to cut it. Um, okay. Okay. I am disappointed in that running back. I am. Oh, man. Oh, God. Another one. Oh. Oh, another one. What's that? Another one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Joe, if you're still lurking, another one. <laughs> oh, man. Two busts back-to-back -back like that. Or two running back busts back-to-back -back like that. Jeez. Oh, another one. Ah, oh, dang. I'm not getting... Oh, man. Yeah, Livingston is definitely a corner. I'm not getting any good ones. Oh, another one. Oh. Oh, another one. This is bad. I'm not getting any gems. Oh. Come on, gems. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. They're, that's so weird how I have all these running backs that are so good. He went from a guard to an athlete. Wait, what's his? He's 6'5", 230. He's got an 86 speed. 
Six five two thirty. He can play tight end. If he has good catching ability, that is. No, he's linebacker. He's a linebacker. He could be a safety as well, I think. Oh, who knows? Yeah, he could play linebacker for how good he is. That's actually good for a linebacker. Uh, John Johnson, quarterback. Come on, gems. We need gems. Oh, another bust. Wait a minute. I got two Justin Longs here. What is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? I I'm going to go back to see if I can fix it. There's two Justin Longs. Okay. All right. Um... Don't disappoint me. Uh, okay, you didn't disappoint me too much. Oh, man. I can't get anything. Oh, man. Ow. 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 Ooh. Clinton Singleton could be the next Jabril Peppers. Okay, I can see it. He could. He's he's actually, I think he's better than what his overall is giving him credit for. Cause looking at his uh, looking at his attributes, he's actually not a bad player. Especially on defense, he could be something, man. I'm telling you, don't sleep on him. All right, now that we got that out of the way, uh, time to go to the depth chart. We got to get our starting lineups ready. He was an 81 overall five star. Oh my goodness. I've had those. Those are awful, man. Those are really bad. When you lose somebody like that, Kenny Smith, uh, we got Thomas Wilson at backup, Robert Rott bowling or bowling as a third string quarterback. We have Douglas and James Morgan. So we'll see how those two back each other up. How salty are you checking? How salty are you going to be checking Toledo's commits? I don't care about Toledo's commits. The chances of me facing them again are very unlikely. Um, Lorenzo Harrison. We got Alex Campbell, Matt Strong. I don't want to. I don't want a tight end starting over my wide receivers. I want speed out there. I want Chad Ford at tight end because he does have better speed and better attributes as far as catching the ball. And he does have some pretty decent um, blocking abilities too. So I want him out there simply because he can catch. Um, hmm. Oh, he can't start on offense twice. Okay, that's fine. Wait, so we got... Okay. Uh, we have our 78 overall. Kellen Brown is our... Okay, we got that taken care of. Roger Kane. Out there at right end. Left end, we have... I want the best guys on the field. Yeah, the Sun Belt champ usually plays in the New Orleans Bowl. The runner-up goes to the GoDaddy.com Bowl. Yeah, that's very true. Um, Chris Newton at middle linebacker or outside linebacker. Corners. Okay, secondary. Um, Colton Cook. We have Landon Clay. Kenny Bush. Ryan Dixon. He was an All-American in kickoff returning. Okay. that's That guy's a boss. That guy is a straight-up boss. Any other free safeties? We don't have any, any other free safety out here? Okay. We have... I was about to say. We need we need people out there of those positions, man. Our strong safety position isn't looking too bad either. Our kicker, though. Ugh, I've seen better days. Uh, yeah, Ryan Dixon, All-American. He is definitely going to be our kick returner this year. 
That's that's a that's a positive. Okay, so we got our we got our depth chart taken care of. Depth chart's good. <sighs> yeah, they have to be good. That's that's definitely a a thing. So we go to custom schedules here. Um, we have Memphis, Houston. Oh, Apple Ashes State's number five. Oh, oh, ouch. At Texas State, at L U A U L L, at Troy, at Georgia State, at U L Monroe. Five straight road games. Five. Good lord. Uh, we're, at, we're at home against Houston, against Memphis, at Arkansas. Oh god, that, that's got to change. I am not. I'm not about to take on an SEC team just yet. I don't think. Um, let's open up these games here. Let's see what we got here. Instead of, I mean, I could take on like big teams, but I guarantee you, I'm not going to win those games. That's just how it's going to work. Play Illinois. Oh, they suck though. They're garbage. Hmm. Take on number four Oregon and just get freaking destroyed. Like, don't even compete destroyed. Washington, um, let's see who we can face week one. Buffalo, Colorado, Colorado State, Florida Atlantic, Memphis, Utah, Utah State. Okay, nobody. I'm not taking on Alabama. I'm not taking on Auburn. Not take. I could take on Florida. That'd be interesting, actually. Florida State, Georgia, Iowa, LSU, Miami, Michigan State, um, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Stanford, Texas, Texas A&M, USC, uh, Virginia Tech. Um, hmm. A lot of selections here in week two. Week three, I don't think they really have anything to offer. We have Boise State, Clemson. Clemson would be interesting. Um, yeah, we could take on Kansas. Um, I don't want to face Iowa State because I don't like Iowa State. I don't want to. I don't want to feed the machine here. Um, I just want. I'm thinking about which top twenty-five team should I just get destroyed by first. I could play Texas. Miami, Tennessee, or North Carolina. Yeah, I don't have any I don't have any weeks off after that. I could face Texas. Texas is interesting. North Carolina is interesting too. They're number 14 in the country. Let's take on North Carolina for one. I don't think I've taken on North Carolina in any of my dynasties. Oklahoma's ranked, I think. They're 16. Yeah, they're 16th. Um... Hmm. Washington is 12. Interesting. Oregon's 4. Oklahoma 16. Notre Dame 18. Alabama. <laughs> I am not facing Alabama. I even hate facing Alabama in UAB that the UAB dynasty. You think I want to take them on here? No. <laughs> uh I don't even like facing Alabama, period. Could take on Iowa. Could take on Illinois still. Well, Illinois is not any good. Could do Michigan State. Texas is, I think, six. I think Texas is number six. I I don't want to play a neutral site game. Those are a pain in the butt. I don't think I can do a neutral site game. Because I'm not that good yet. I don't think I don't think I deserve it. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I could do Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma is definitely within the within a good reason to try and test my Big 12 skills for one. Well, actually, hold on. I saw Oklahoma State in there as well. Oklahoma State does have a good offense. Any other Big 12 team in there? T Kansas State. Um, Iowa State, they're not any good. Um, hmm. There's quite a few Big 12 teams here. Texas Tech. Yeah, OK State isn't ranked, which surprises me because they're usually up there. Um, West Virginia's in there as well. They're not ranked either. Um, that's interesting. Well, hold on here. What what is Texas's or not Texas? What is um what's their face? I need to find out how good each team is. I want to see I want to see Kansas real quick cuz if I could compare myself to a a bottom or a bottom feeder Big 12 team then we may consider. Oh, they got a right outside linebacker. That's a. Uh, oh wow, this team's not bad. Not bad at all. I want to. I want to try and find my competitive limits here. I could play Kansas. They got a solid squad. Actually, they're not bad. They're not a bad team at all. That's interesting. Okay, oh, state's probably better. Kansas State. Hmm. That had to be at Kansas State, I think. Wait, how many home games do we have? One, two, four. We only have four home games. Play Syracuse. Oh, God. That would, we would destroy them. Syracuse is not good at football. They're average at best. I don't think I've seen Syracuse good at football, like, ever in my lifetime. Oregon State, um, Pitt, Purdue, Rutgers, San Diego State, South Carolina, Stanford, Syracuse, Temple, Texas. And, 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 and. Who should we get slayed by? Kentucky. I need to find a home game, though. I don't, I don't know if anybody would want to play I, I don't think an SEC team would want to go all the way to Arkansas State to play a football game Bowling Green, California Central Michigan, Cincinnati Fresno State Georgia Tech's interesting um Illinois upped our strength of schedule. Wow. No, but here's the thing. I know it's one state away, but it's the mat. It's the matchup. It's conference prestige. What? Why would Kentucky go to Arkansas State to play us? How was Appalachian State number five? Well, they got like a ninety-five overall. <sighs> um. So playing. These three teams here actually ups our strength of schedule up just a little bit. We could play Oklahoma. We could play Kansas as well. I'd rather play Kansas than Kansas State. We have three straight weeks off. Good Lord. 
We gotta fix that. So wait, wait, one, two. So, okay. Playing at Kansas would up our prestige. Playing at North Carolina. Oh my goodness. We don't want too many road games. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Appalachian State was one of my losses. So, seeing as is. Um, I want to play another ranked team, I think. I want to play another ranked team. I feel like if we don't play another ranked team, then we'll never... Um, a low ranked team, too. Like, a number 25 or whatever. Team that we could probably get our butts kicked by, but still have a good enough time. Oklahoma, we could. I, I'm, I'm like ninety percent tempted to go Oklahoma. They're not here. We'll go at Oklahoma. We'll go at Oklahoma. And that gives us seven road games, though. Hmm. It's hard because it's like all these conference games. I have one, two, three, four conference games at home and five on the road. That's crazy. Clemson's a good one. But I feel like I have too many road games. Is that a bad thing? Like, I have seven road games this year and only five at home. I don't know if that ultimately matters, but it definitely, you know, we don't get that many home games, and that could hurt us in the long run. I think we should open up Clemson and try and find somebody else. Let's try and find a... Uh, a team here. In-state rivalry versus Arkansas. I think that should be a home game. Clemson was a good one, but I need six, six home games. I do. Arkansas versus Arkansas State is definitely one of those games I think we should make happen. Because in-state rivalry. Yeah, we, do, we need more home games. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We only have five home games still. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough out on these streets, man. Hmm. I think should I just swallow the pill and just take the seven road games for this year? Oklahoma's a glitch. It's literally a hike game. Oh god. A ho it's a home game. All right, let me change that up real quick. Should I just swallow the pill though? Should I take that pill and just there we go. I know I do. And it's like, I know I need home games to recruit, but also think about it in this aspect. A lot of that recruiting aspect, you do need to win big games. <clears throat> it's Joey from Joey's World Tour. Um, but if I get all these nice 
games at home. I'm facing my top team. I'm facing is number five in the country. If I could pull off an upset, what is it? See what it does for your strength of schedule. It doesn't change anything. It still stays at C plus. It still says a C plus. It doesn't really change anything. I could have it come to Oklahoma at at home. So that I guess that does kind of work out in my favor. But my only real road game. Yeah, I know it's my dynasty, but I'm just I'm always open to suggestions. Um, so that's the thing. I'm always open to suggestions, and I'm always wanting to try and not necessarily please everyone because that's going to be impossible. But come to a compromise. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's a channel for the people, channel of the people for the people. So we're going to go. I guess we could go at at home against Arkansas, at home against Oklahoma, at North Carolina. Unless anybody else has any other, any other suggestions for this slot here, which I don't see one right now. Um, but it looks like North Carolina uh, is pretty solid state in there. And then Georgia Southern, Appalachian State, New Mexico State, South Alabama, UL Monroe, Georgia State, Troy, UL Lafayette, and Texas State. That schedule does look pretty nice. I will, I will go with it. Um... So we're going to go start the season. And we're going to pretty much end it there. Well, I mean, Oklahoma is one of those things, uh, Gavin, where I want to move this team to the Big 12. And Oklahoma would be a good test for that. Considering that this team is not very high in overall, um, it's better to play a team that's I'm I want to get good um, experience against if I'm going to play them every year. Seeing as I want to move Arkansas State to the Big 12, this seems like a good matchup. Hmm. So let's see what we can get in this regular season. I'm interested to see where everybody's at overall-wise and how well we've improved compared to everybody else. It's really, really interesting how that, all this stuff works out. We have a preseason All-American, a preseason All-Conference, and find a bus. We found six of those. What up, Nama or Nana M12? Arkansas versus Arkansas State, a yearly game. I should. Alternating home and away. I could. It's kind of like the Iowa versus Iowa State thing. So we're going to actually skip week one because we have an we have – a bye week, so we're gonna do a little bit more extra in the uh, that field here. Um, so we're now we're gonna scout the rest of our players here. Ooh, we got a 64 eight from a 64 to a 68. Okay, we got another nice one here. Nice one here. Ooh, nice jump to 67. Stayed the same. Nice jump there. Nice. Okay. 66. 69. The season will be rough and long. For, uh, for the rough. Recruiting will be ugly. It has been ugly so far. Good lord. I haven't seen this bad of recruiting in, in a while. Although this time around, it doesn't seem to be... The second time around going through these ones doesn't seem to be as bad. See, this guy's good. pretty good here. And he's not amazing but he's decent this guy made a seven overall jump because i scouted him um so now we're gonna go positions we're gonna go by overall i'm interested to see what mcafee is gonna do he's on eighth on our list so that obviously shows a me that he's taken interest in this team so i'm gonna try and do my best to try and make it happen uh let's try and see what he's got he's got a 90 speed he's got good catching good route running good catching traffic where i don't have any gems that's that's the thing i don't have any and i'm not gonna you know just throw i'm gonna throw some points at him i think i got like 500 that i can do um this guy here is also pretty good as well get him in a scholarship see if i can try and get an early jump in the game here the end pass rusher from Oklahoma I think I like him as well Do, you know you gotta go after the top guys as well prospect overview we gotta get the big jumps early try and catch up 
and see what we can do there. I'm not playing Alabama. I'm not playing Alabama with this team. Nope, not ready for that. Sure, it'd be good money-wise, but geez, I'd get slaughtered. Wouldn't be a bad idea to look at a quarterback either. John Johnson. Um, 79 speed, 81 throw power, 70 accuracy. Not a terrible player. Not a terrible player. Um, there's only, like I said, only going to be a few guys that I keep my eye on completely. We could definitely use another running back. I've got to get him in there. He definitely fits our playing style, so I like that. Um, he may be a bust, but he's still a good player to run with. Uh, he does fit our playing style. He's not a bad player, though. He's not. Could go after another one, too. Although, this guy's this guy's not as nice. You know what I mean? doesn't fit the mold like I want him to. He doesn't have the, the it factor. He's kind of slow. Playing style is an A+, plus, but it doesn't necessarily fit our style. We could go after this 68 overall uh, guard. Definitely go after this defensive tackle because we definitely need defensive players. Um, athlete here. 80 speed. Doesn't have very good of uh, much of anything. Where's that? Where's that one guy? The athlete, Singleton. I liked him. He needs to come here. He definitely needs to come to Arkansas State. He definitely needs to come to Arkansas State because, because, if you looked at his skill set, he may have dropped in points, but he he fits the mold of what I'm looking for. He has the, he's a prototypical linebacker. He could probably make some plays. Um, this guy here, speed back. I could definitely go after a guy like him because. He fits the mold. He's got good speed. He's got. He doesn't have very good catching ability, but he does. Um, does have a nice stiff arm. Nice, uh, okay, trucking for a guy who has a, a 94 speed. Yeah, he's got a nine. That dude's got a 98 acceleration. You don't see that very often. Let's go back up to that guy. Actually, I think yeah, I passed him. But 98 acceleration. That is unheard of. Like that is amazing. This guy is gonna go straight. This guy can just get up and go. And he he's got 86 speed. He's got he's got the stuff that we need. He's got it. He could play like multiple positions. It's crazy. He could he spews linebacker. He'd be one heck of a linebacker. Just oozes the talent for it. Singleton looks like a receiver, but he does tackle well. That's the thing. He he can tackle, and I love it building. I love my defense when I can. I love it when I can build a defense, and seeing as if as is I can build a defense around this guy, I want to put him on defense. Um, Alabama 99 overall. That's kind of not surprising. Virginia Tech two, USC three, Oregon four, Appalachian State five. They're 99 overall. Watch them lose a couple games this year though. Uh, Texas 6, A&M 7, Nebraska 8, Iowa 9, Ohio State 10, Michigan State 11, Washington 12, Florida 13, North Carolina 14, Georgia 15, o Oklahoma 16, Florida State 17, Notre Dame 18, uh, Stanford 19, Boise State 20, Auburn 21, UCLA 22, Clemson 23, Miami 24, LSU 25. Doesn't it always seem like in this game that you play more defense than offense? Yeah, you're not wrong in saying that. I love my defense. I love playing defense. Storm guy, what's up, man? Uh, let's see where we are. Wow, Georgia, or Kansas State, number 28. They have a good team. Holy. Uh, we are ranked 32. We went from a 77 overall to an 83 overall as a team. The safeties and corners do look good. Uh, they're... Up there in experience, though, so we got to start focusing on those. We got to start getting like interceptions and stuff in order for us to be effective. Um, but not a bad start, 32. Although we're probably going to be taking some L's this year. South Carolina's 95 overall and not even in the top 25. That's crazy. So, who is the worst team in college football according to the preseason polls? UNC Charlotte. 
went from a 63 or they were a 57 last year they went up to a 63 overall they do have a uh 65 offense 65 defense uh not a bad team they they are slightly better than georgia state though um they could pull off a few wins this year you want to see charlotte could anyway uh, let's see if they do though that'd be interesting um but we are ranked 32nd and other teams in there like michigan 93 overall um any other teams in here that are pretty high up there tennessee's number or 88 overall washington state 86 overall with a 90 offense good lord they got they got themselves a ball club iowa state 83 overall See, I could have compete with a lot of these teams here. You know, these 81s, these 88s here at San Diego State. Maryland, I'm trying to find the Maryland. I'm trying to, they're probably way down there. They don't, they didn't do a very good job last year of playing. I think they finished, they didn't even get a bowl game last year, I think. Uh, Maryland's number 95. Ouch. Or 94. That's, that's, that hurts. Um, so, that, that, <laughs> geez, I don't know how Maryland can do that bad. But they look like they can pull off some wins this year. So let's see how well they do. What's up, Alex the Boss? Thanks for uh, thanks for supporting the channel, man. Really appreciate it. Um, Alabama or uh, Maryland just did not have a good year. Heisman watch. Uh, we probably don't have any players, obviously. Not anybody that we know of. Uh, Preseason. Right, let's see the championship contenders. I don't think we're anywhere near where we should be. 32 or yeah we're at 32 63 60 58 not bad it could be better um but that all depends on our recruiting obviously not a bad overall for maryland might want to schedule them for next year that depends on how well they do as well because i want to play good teams and if maryland's not performing up to snuff then there's no point in playing them so we're going to simulate week one and we're going to cut it off here um we're going to get ready for arkansas should be a good game though Arkansas versus Arkansas State. Uh, Maryland's 95th with a 91 overall team. I know, right? That's crazy. It just it just shows you just got to get the dubs. That's all that matters in college football is if you can get a W. And but also you got to think about it. Playing in the Big Ten. Playing in the Big Ten can be a little interesting. Anything can happen in the Big Ten. We'll get ready for this Arkansas State game, or Arkansas versus Arkansas State game, and for the first video of this uh, series, I got I got some phone calls to attend to because I've I've had to put my phone I've had to put my phone on silent. I'm miss I'm missing phone calls, my friends. So we can finish off these recruits here for the last portion of this video here. Overall, oh, we got a lead on him. Oh, very nice. Let's see if we can make some moves here. We are making moves here. Got a lead on this guy. Got a lead. Got a lead on this guy. I like it. We are, we're making moves. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Let's make another move on this running back. I want to try and get more running backs here. Um, we may offer this guy a scholarship later on in the year, but he does seem to be a good center, so that, that helps a lot. We need offensive linemen. I like building the big guys up front because that's what really matters sometimes in big schemes like that. If you can get a good, good offensive line, everything else seems to... Everything else just seems to follow. So anything any anything else here, we got to look at the top 25 before we get underway here. Nobody's really played their first game yet. Um, so nothing hurt, really. Got a lot of first place votes spread across the place, though. Texas, Appalachian State, Oregon, USC, Virginia Tech, and Alabama. What are the strong, strangest schools you've seen in the top 25? I've seen Iowa State in the top 25 Iowa State 
That's that's crazy enough to me. Northwestern, Louisville, Kansas State, Georgia Tech, Oklahoma State. Dropped out none. But we're going to get out of here. I'm going to get out, fun out. We, we finished off what we needed to finish off. I'm not going to play a game just yet. I want to uh, save those for the videos uh, because you guys, uh, from what I've seen on my comments, um, these guys, a lot of people who come in that are new, watch them in bulk and they and if i don't want to cut off the trend here by you know doing a game and then they're like oh where's the first game well it's right not in, if i did it in the playlist or anything like that it'd be crazy but eastern michigan is eighth that's crazy that was eighth in your dynasty that's pretty nuts but i do have to attend to some other stuff here i am glad that you guys came by and watched the off season i'm probably going to be doing uab within the next couple of days and we are going to get ready for Season 7 in the New AB Dynasty. We're going to get ready for Season 2 of the Arkansas State Dynasty. And it's going to be great. You guys have been awesome tonight. And I cannot wait to bring you guys more content in the future. So you guys uh, have yourself a good night. And I am going to get out of here. Peace out.